Here is a huge Primark home haul. It's mostly self-care bits to be fair, so I'm actually going to be making some house purchases. It's my last The house has changed so much. Very fresh again. really missed you i don't even really know where to start with this vlog so let's sit down we need to have a big catch up i haven't vlogged in a couple of days because i've been going through it but it's a new week it's monday morning and i've got a really lovely week planned which i feel like one i can't wait to take you guys along on and also i love filming you know last week was just a pretty crazy kind of week so i think the last time that i was on youtube it was like the start of last week i think easter monday so on wednesday we said our goodbyes to sash now maybe if you haven't watched me before you're thinking who's sash so sasha is was my childhood dog but she was just so much more to me than that like i couldn't just define her as Oh, she was my childhood dog. We got Sasha when I was, I think I just turned six. She was born the day after my birthday. So I always thought like, we're soulmates. Like, and she truly was like, just the best dog you could ever wish for. And I'm now 23. So I was so lucky to have her for 17 years. And it was a really horrible decision to have to make. I don't know why there's so many flies. Let me open the window. I'm gonna move. Okay, that's better. Yeah, so I'm now 23 and Sasha had just lived an amazing life. Like you guys, if you've watched me, you'll know. Like everyone was just obsessed with her. Everyone that met her was obsessed with her. She was just the cutest, most loving, loyal, fun, amazing dog. Like if you guys have got dogs, you'll understand. They really are a part of your family and it's really been something that we've been dreading happening, but it also felt inevitable and she was 17 she was declining and the, i'm not gonna go fully into it because i mean i've spoke to a few of you guys on instagram and i also want to say thank you for all of your like lovely messages like you've sent you've took time out of your day to send me a lovely message and they've really comforted me and they've really been helpful so that's why i haven't vlogged that's why there's been a little bit of a break on the channel but I, it's a new week, I want to get back into it, like I said I've got a fun week planned, so yes, we had to say our goodbyes on Wednesday, it was the worst thing I've ever had to do, but it is a new week and I'm ready to start vlogging again, I really wanted to just get back today and start talking to you guys, I didn't want to put it off because I thought if I don't vlog today, it's going to roll, so we're back, so welcome to the weekly vlog, it is going to be really sad without her and I feel like not having the purpose of like taking her out for a walk every day is also something that's really sad like last week all I wanted to do was just like get outside but it felt really silly walking on my own and I know it's not and I, I did try on my on my own but yeah it's all a little bit sad right now like I've you know this is life but I just wanted to say thank you for always showing her so much love and thank you for showing me so much love and my family so much love we miss her so much it feels really weird obviously we've got like the puppy like my mom and stepdad I just brought a puppy at the end of last year and we've got Frankie but it just still feels like funny um she's always been there I can't remember life without her so it's very weird now navigating life without her being physically mm. around it's very weird it's very new but yeah I don't want to talk about it too much because I just I'm gonna get upset and I want to try and have a positive week and like distract myself <laughs> so I did actually go to TK Maxx last week with my nan and I got some really nice things for the new house so I thought I'd show you those this morning and then basically the plan of action today is going to be we're going to go to the gym I need to do a food shop because I haven't done a food shop since being back from Australia a couple of weeks ago I've just been like going to the shop every day so I need to do like a fully you know like a full week's worth of food shops get all of our meals in and i have got a pop to my dad's house today 
so I need to do that and then I've just got like admin bits to do I've been editing this morning if you can hear the fun of my laptop if you've got an apple macbook you might relate mine just is so loud I don't know what it is so I'm exporting a vlog for you guys that I filmed I think it's two weeks ago now but that's going up tonight I've just got around to finish editing it so let me grab the stuff from DK Maxx and I'll give you a little haul I honestly haven't brought anything for this house because I'm so scared that when I get in it I'm gonna hate it like hate the things I've brought but I've brought some things that I don't think that I will end up hating like they're pretty basic so I saw this in Sainsbury's actually this is one this wasn't TK Maxx this is from Happy Tat and it's a 16 piece cutlery set it's gold and my grandma brought us a really lovely silver like dinnerware set and it's so gorgeous but I wanted one that we could just use day to day and I think the plates that I want um from Primark have got like a very gold trim so i've bought the gold just for like casual for me and all and then we can use the ones my grandma got us for more like hosting and like christmas and things so i just got these they'll probably tarnish but they were reduced from 28 to 14 pound i don't think i'd pay 28 for them but 14 pound i thought absolutely so it's a 16 piece set and it's just this gold color i thought they were really cute and i'm gonna have like gold accents around the kitchen so i thought they would be cute for when we first get in there then I actually saw this set in TK Maxx now. So I saw these oven gloves and I'm obsessed with gingham. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's like patterned. So it adds a little bit of like depth and texture, but it's still like neutral and kind of, you know, plain. So I got these oven gloves. I thought this was giving she's in her cooking gear. Right? I really love it. I like the brown and the white. So they're just like this and they're double. And I thought they can hang up quite nice. So they were... They're from a brand, a brand called Rain and Humble. Well, they're made with recycled cotton. And these RRP for £19. I'm getting them for £5.99. Steel. And then they, I didn't see these at all, but then I saw they had two matching tea towels. And I thought these were so cute. So these RRP for £15. And I got these for five. So they're two tea towels. They feel really good quality. I like how they've got this like frayed edge. Again, I just thought hung on our new kitchen they would look really lovely and then my nan actually saw this and she said can i buy it you and i was like okay of course <laughs> for 10 pound right it's this like teal tray and it's a hairy bikers one and i thought it's microwave safe and dishwasher safe which i thought was good and i just really liked this it looked really pretty i thought this was like really good for lasagnas for chicken pies for apple crumbles you know just for like bacon and things and i think it's a really classic color so i've actually been making some house purchases which i've been very reluctant to do just like i said like i'm scared of buying loads of things and then not liking them like i don't really like to buy things on impulse but these all felt like things that i will actually like and use and continue to love so a little house haul there so i've told you the plans of the day i think i'm gonna head to sainsbury's and then go to the gym and then hopefully i'll have time. i don't know what my phone is to know what time it is but hopefully we've got time to do all of that oh i also got something for mia and the baby one sec okay mia if you're watching it just skip off i say mia and the baby it's purely for the baby so my best friend's having a baby girl and um, she's due in like august september time and i really want to obviously get the baby loads of things you know as honorary auntie it only feels right but what i didn't want to do like i want to do something really cute for like mia's baby shebra like when the baby's born that one is really loud i think what i'm going to do is just buy like little like instead of buying everything when the baby's born i when i see something cute i'm just going to keep buying them and then make like a little cute package and then when the baby's born or when like she's you know needy here I can give it Mia and make it all cute and everything. But I saw this in Sainsbury's. I got it zero to three. I think I'm mainly not going to get newborn bits for I'm going to get like six months on. But I saw this and I couldn't not get it because it was so cute for the baby. And I haven't brought her any clothes yet. So it's this little bib and it says sweet little one. Then it's this pink little like suit, which is so cute. And then this is so cute, like the ditzy florals. And it comes with a matching hat. And it also comes with a bag, which I thought was really handy because it's cute. And I feel like Mia will like that, like even if she just puts it in like a nappy bag or something. But it's a really cute little bag. So I got the baby that, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to collect loads of stuff. And I feel like then that'll be really cute for like Mia's baby shower to present her. So if I, if it looks like I'm maybe not buying the baby stuff in the vlogs, it's because I'm going to try and keep it secret. So she doesn't know everything that the baby's going to get. But I saw that and I had to get it her. And then I thought on her baby shower... 
I can make it look really cute for her and get her all little like essentials and unessential bits like that and make it all really cute so yeah I'm gonna head out so I'll see you guys in the car and then we'll have a fun week together I feel like let's cheer ourselves up let's have a positive productive week together okay right we are at sainsbury's and i've just written myself a list i personally cannot go into do the food chart about a list because i just don't know what i'd buy so i like to plan out what meals we want so that's what i've just done and then i just put it on my notes like this and then when i get it i can just like tick them off so our four meals are going to be chili on sweet potato like baked we love that I mean, it's like ollie's obsession i swear i love it too but he's like obsessed he could have it every day i think then i'm gonna do some like tacos slash wraps i don't really know but i'm gonna figure that part out after but i know what i want to get to put in them then our favorite marry me chicken pasta and then i'm gonna do something different salmon with like noodles i'm thinking some like stir fry noodles and like veg and then maybe like salmon on the top with maybe like sweet chili or hoisin sauce i'm thinking now it's getting a little bit warmer it's nice to have like more you know, like winter is very chicken pie, you know, roast dinner. It's nice now it's spring to maybe have a little bit more colour on the plate. And then I've just put some things on for our lunches and breakfast. So cobs, chicken, fruit, granola. I've just put snacks because I don't know what snacks, but I'm just going to get some stuff for all take to work. And then jacket potatoes because I love a jacket potato for my lunch. I'd have them every day with tuna on. And I was just ready to put tuna on it and then for sash. And then I thought sash doesn't need any tuna where sash is she has probably got endless amounts of tuna and lamb bones and god knows what else <laughs> so i don't need to get them from sainsbury's but that's my list so i'm gonna go in and do that and it is for a time check 12 23 so i've got a time slot at my dad's house between half one and half five for something to be delivered and installed we love the we love the whole afternoon time slot so i'm waiting for them to tell me what time they're going to get there hopefully it means i've got time to go to the gym but what's really annoyed me is i've realized i've only got one trainer <laughs> i've only brought one new balance with me and the only other shoes i've got is my platform mugs or my slippers so i'm going to have to go into sainsbury's in my slipper at, well slippers and then i'm going to have to when i go home take the shopping hopefully i'll have time to get my other trainer and go to the gym if not at least i'm in my gym stuff so i will go to the gym at some point it might just be we have to rejig the day around a little bit i'm just obsessed with everything in habitat it's so nice and i love this rattan basket it's 16 pound but just what a nice shape i feel like you could do so much of it like you know on the stairs i don't know I really like it. They've always got so much nice stuff though. I love their cushions. They always feel like so nice and like firm. It's very rare that I actually smell a candle that I like, but that's really nice. It's warm suede and amber, bergamot. I don't know, to be honest, like saffron and vanilla. What a nice like case. I feel like even with this pulled off. I'm just browsing like the dinnerware. How nice would this be for the summer? I feel like it's very summer, very Sorrento, really cute. I love these plates. Well, Ollie's mum actually just got them and that to eat your pasta out of is an absolute dream. I also really like these. Kind of expensive for only two though, £10. They are nice though, they look pretty, pretty thick. I've got so much nice stuff in here. Look, this, is where I, this is where I got my forks from. So they were 28, they're now 14. And there's quite a lot here. I think they're so nice. Hello guys, right, we are done in Sainsbury's. I'm just driving home. We will go through what I got when I get back, but it's actually such a weird day. It's like, it says it's 15 degrees. It feels quite hot and stuffy, but it's just like grey and cloudy. Such a weird day, but... Number one, off the agenda, ticked off. I'm gonna go home, I'm starving, so we can cook some lunch and I'll show you what i got i spent a little bit more than normal but you know when you haven't been shopping for a while so you have to just like re-buy the little things and it sort of adds up but i'll show you when we get back anyway okay guys we're home so i'm gonna give you a haul of everything that i got starting with these to start out nice little snack we both love monster lunch i got these for his lunch i'm gonna have to go back and get some more because they had really bad dates on so i just got one pack and then i'll go back at the end of the week then i got some wrap Sour cream, blueberries, got some baby corn and manchu. Oh, yeah. These are 
thought would be a good bit of snack. Little mini cookies. Again, these protein peanut and chocolate bars for old lunch. These were eight pound. I could get two for like five pound or four for eight pound, which I still think is really steady. But I thought, well, I might as well get four because I feel like salmon kind of shrinks anyway. I got some falafels because I have not had these since I used to shop at Aldi because I feel like you don't see them everywhere. I love them. Hi guys, my name's Cooper. Thank you. I'm a cockapoo puppy. <laughs> my auntie's dog. So cute. You little baby. Okay guys, this is what we got for lunch. We've got falafel, it's just random, couscous, cheese, sweet corn, a bit of yoghurt and mint sauce and then some tomatoes. These are really good. Honestly, as if I wasn't feeling emotional this week already, I haven't been to my dad's house for a while. I think it's literally marks like three years last week since we moved out. And we have a really lovely family living here and that makes me happy because I feel like we had such a good family life here. So I'm like glad that it's being continued, you know, but just like driving up the road, then I was just like, oh, life has changed so much. It's so crazy. But like, I'm still driving the Adam. I opened the gate, drove up and I just thought like this could literally be six years ago and I could be starting uni. Like how old would I have been? Like 17? Oh, no. Well, no, that wouldn't have been six years ago, uni. But, you know, like, so much has changed, but then, like, so many things are still the same. Like, it's just so weird. So I don't think I'm going to go in. I think I'm just going to... Well, I'm going to have to go in to show them where the oven is. But I'm just going to go, and then I'm going to sit in the car and wait for them to do, because I don't feel like I'm emotionally stable enough to go in there today. <laughs> it's so weird. And, like, you know, it's weird, like, so many of our neighbours have like got the same cars like I'm looking around but like there's a new next door neighbour they've gone now but like Clive has the same car like my friend Holly lives there that lady over there I can't remember her name but she has the same car like it's just really weird it's like so many things are so different to when we were here but then so many things are like as if time hasn't changed I don't know but it worked out quite well because I made my lunch and then he literally called and said I'm going to be 10 minutes so I'm waiting for them now so we're having a new oven basically i think i said in the last vlog that the that i needed to order a new oven the whole oven wasn't broke but the coveries were meant to deliver this last week and then they cancelled and pushed me back for today so i'm glad that now they've got a new oven and everything so yeah that's what i'm going to do hopefully it doesn't take them too long they've literally just got to get the old oven out and put the new oven in and i paid as well just obviously i've never had to buy an oven but it did um it was helpful because obviously i am going to have to buy an oven for the new house and curries actually pay you can pay them like an extra 20 pound and they will come and disconnect and take away and recycle your old oven so then you're not left with like an old oven that you don't know what to do with so i thought that was good and then i also paid a bit extra to just have them install it and like check it with like a gas engineer or something so yeah i went with curries and i got a good one because i thought well when it's a rental as well you don't want to like you want to get something good so that you don't have like problems like this crop up so yes that's what i'm doing now hopefully they won't be too long and then we're going to go to the gym and i think i'm going to try and legs and then when i get back my brother actually got a plunge like is it called a plunge pull like an ice bath he just got one on the weekend for the house so i want to do it because it's meant to be amazing i see so many people online doing it so i'll talk to you about that later but i thought after the gym maybe we could do that and then i'm going to cook dinner wash my hair because we've got a i've got like a big like work day tomorrow I've got like ads to film and um, me and me are going to get some content so a haul to film so yeah getting back into it and it feels good but i'm just gonna wait for this coveries man to come install this oven and then we will continue with our day <laughs> okay so guys we are done at my dad's house it is it, it's weird because there's like parts of our furniture in the house still that we left for the family 
but then it also does feel like a different house because they've got so much of their own stuff in but it's all done i just went to tesco and i grabbed myself a monster because honestly i sat there for like maybe an hour and a bit and i was just could feel myself starting to go to sleep so i could only get this because look at my outfit i mean <laughs> to be this and i also grabbed myself i wanted to get myself one but they only had packs of four these two pain 30 i'm sorry who's buying them for the school lunch is that it's expensive for just a little snack they were on club card though for pound fifty, so i thought there can be just some nice snacks for me in the car um a squares bar is good for before the gym so i'm just going to drink a bit of this and then hopefully i'll feel pumped up for the gym i haven't had one of these for a while i feel like you're either a monster girly or a red bull girly i'm really not into red bull but monster i can get on board with i really like i like the white zero sugar one i don't like the full sugar ones it's called like all Tra, and this is peachy keen zero shug and then i'm gonna have a little squares bar and then we're gonna go and do a leg session so a yes to that these are so good remember if you're like an og follower i used to make these myself all the time they're really good maybe i should do it again mine were always like way stickier hmm. maybe this is my sign it's plunge pool time i don't feel prepared i don't want to talk about it i'm just going to do it my mum's had to borrow my phone because i was thinking i'll just put a podcast on it'll be really how am i going to know when it's been two minutes i'm just gonna have to count i'll do it until i can't anymore okay so i'll i'll, sh I'll show you now and then i'll just get in it because I, I don't want to be thinking about it i don't want to be a baby you know i just want to get it done this is the one we've got the arctic pod i think james just got it off amazon and we just filled it up i think not yesterday the day before um and you basically just get in it so i don't really know how it works I take the off. okay we'll deal with that after and then this is like the thermostat thing that keeps it cool essentially Oh, it's pretty cold. I don't know how cold. Is that the thermostat? Okay, it's minus... Is that minus 10, maybe? Okay, right, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to get in it, okay? Right, I can see the time on that. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. Okay, meant to just deep breathe. Well, I feel very vulnerable out here in the garden. It's very cold. Oh my god, my heart rate started up. Oh, fucking hell, guys. <laughs> this is really cold. Oh my god, it's only been 30 seconds. Oh my god, I can feel all my leg hair. No, it's 10 degrees, it's not minus 10 degrees. Oh my god, my leg's starting to shake. Oh my god, my. Oh, I can feel my arms really hurting. Oh, I wish I had a hot tub. I know you're meant to put your shoulders in. My shoulders are kind of out, but I can't get any further down without moving, and I don't have to get out and then get back in. Oh, it's not so bad now. Oh, okay. My arms hurt. Like, my arms are like... I can't explain it. This is what do really good for you. So if we can do this once a day... Okay, I've got 30 more seconds. Okay, that's not bad. Honestly, after 45 seconds, fine. Oh, this is so funny. Ooh, I feel like my whole body's gone, like, numb, though. You know, like, when it's so cold, like, on bonfire night, and you're like... You can't feel yourself. It's quite savage, though. I can't lie. That first, like, 30 seconds. I'm okay now. I mean, I won't want to stay in here for ages, but it's all right. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, I'm shivering now. Oh my God, I'm shivering. Oh, that was so weird. I can't like, feel the coldness on my body, but that wasn't that bad. That really wasn't that bad. Okay, two minutes a day. We'll see how long we can keep it up and whether we feel better for it or whatever. It's probably one of those things that you probably wouldn't just feel better for, but probably in the long run you are better for it oh i just feel a bit shaky i 
feel like deep breaths were key at the start when I was a bit like, that wasn't good. That wasn't good for me. That was okay. Go Jode. Proud of you Jode, well done. <laughs> Okay, girly pops, it is time to wash our hair. I'm actually really excited for this because if you have ever renovated, <laughs> if, if you have ever renovated or like it, your hair just takes the brunt of it. Like you just get so much horrible stuff in your hair and it feels absolutely disgusting. So I'm very excited to wash this out. Thoughts on the plunge and the ice, whatever you want to call it. It's actually really good. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try it for the next few days. Like, my body definitely feels different. It almost feels like, I don't know how to explain it. You know that feeling when you get out of like a sauna or a steam room, your body just feels like it's had something and that's sort of how I feel. Like, I, I don't feel dramatically different, but just like my body just feels a bit like, I don't know, but it's meant to aid recovery. So I'm thinking if I go to the gym, and then after maybe once a day or as many times a week as I can plunge myself in that, then surely that'll be good for me. So hair wash time. I could do with going through, should we, if you guys watched last week, a brand called Strand sent me a really cool PR package. So I'm tempted to go and try that. So let me go and grab it. This is it girls. It's Strand. So, we've got a scalp brush. I'll keep that because I've currently got another one on the go and I feel like there's no point having two on the go. So, this is scalp care. So you don't need to rinse that. So maybe I'll just start using that. You can just use that like, that's like up to three times a day. It's crazy. Okay, this is the shampoo. So we'll try that out, see how it feels. My hair still feels a little bit dry, so I don't really know why. Um, this is a scalp scrub. I love a scalp scrub. I feel like it's a definitely an underrated part of hair care routines. And then this is a conditioning treatment. So let's try these out. I'll tell you how I find them. But I can't wait to have fresh hair. There's nothing better. This hair currently looks, I mean, obviously it's had a hair mask in and I also wet it. Was it last night, I think, in the bath? And I put a hair mask in it, so it is a bit damp and wet, but this is it currently. I'm also, mm, I'm gonna say I was tempted to put a glaze on it, because it's gone a little bit auburn -y. And I do have this sleek espresso, but I think you have to put it on dry hair, don't you? Shall I, shall I not, shall I, shall I not? It's probably not the best thing to do if my hair's feeling dry. Maybe we'll do this in the week. Let's condition it, give it a bit of love, and then maybe we'll try this next week. Or in the week, depending on how it feels. We are right at the shower, and has anyone tried this? This is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. I have never tried it, but my mum got it me and i'm interested to try it, but let me know if you've tried it and i'm gonna give it a go i think it's like yes yeah, so it's a non-drying exfoliator i think it's good for like really dry skin but just intrigued to see if any of you guys have tried it so post hair wash products i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the sol de janeiro milky leave-in conditioner because honestly this just smells insane so i'm gonna go in with that for oil i've been liking this lv one it's a dupe for the, is it Kerastase? I never know, never know. GHD Sleek Talker, wet to sleek style and oil. This literally does what it says on the tin. It just makes your um, hair so sleek. And then I'm also gonna go in with the Grow Gorgeous Fibra, Fibra Sealing Split Ends Treatment. And then I'm just gonna give it a blow dry with my trusty beauty works, just so that it dries like relatively straight. My hair is so dry. Maybe it was dry the whole time in Australia and I just didn't realise and it's only now that I am. I don't know, but it feels so dry still. That shampoo was good. I don't think it's the best one I've ever used. I think my favourite one of the ones that I've used recently has honestly been the Redken All Soft range. I think it's incredible. It just made my hair feel so soft. But it might just be my hair, it might not even be. 
couple of products it might just be my hair to be honest being dry maybe from the sun i don't know we'll make sure we give it a little bit more tlc this week okay so i don't do anything very like um professional when i dry it i literally just blast it with the hair dryer if i was if it was like the morning time i would maybe get like my roller brush out and do it in sections or use the duet um ghd duet styler that's really good but i just want it dry so i can cook dinner and then i think i might curl it maybe tomorrow because i've got like content and stuff to get tomorrow so maybe i'll curl it or like loosely wave it but this is what i'm going to use it's the beauty works one I actually did put a roller in my hair. Can you see how frizzy it goes though? I only added it and then you guys died. So I couldn't show you, but I literally just dried it a little bit and then put it in this. I don't know whether it will do much, but anyway, it's time to cook dinner and I'm really excited. This, like I said, is Ollie's like obsessive meal right now. So it's chili with, on sweet potato. I baked the sweet potatoes. I put them for 20 minutes in the microwave. Well, that was... Yeah, 20 minutes in the microwave and then 20 minutes in the air fryer and they go so crispy and I just love sweet potato. It's so good. So these are all the ingredients. Mint, sour cream for topping. I've got an onion. These are the sweet potatoes that I brought earlier. Then I always put a beef stock cube in my chili now. And I also add Worcester sauce. Only a little bit. Worcestershire sauce, is that what it is? Just like a little um, chopped tomatoes garlic and then i've also got some cheese to go on top and some avocados and then i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put the sweet potatoes in the microwave let them do their thing and then i'll cook the chili let it simmer and then i'm also gonna make ollie's lunch but you guys are also gonna die on this battery which is brilliant i need to charge you all my batteries can you tell so i'm gonna start cooking this and I can't wait. Back in my chef era, it feels so good. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. We're fully charged up. I am just about to do my makeup and get ready for the day, but I actually did a little bit of East sale. I didn't really realise Easter sales were a thing, but I did see that there was quite a few sales. So I did pick up some bits, and I thought while my brows are setting, I always use the Buy Ellie for any new girly pops here. The Buy Ellie Brow Shape. It's really good. I just spray it with a little bit of my setting spray, and then go in the middle with my spoolie and then just brush my brows up. They need like tweezing and shaping desperately, but that's a problem for another day. So, like I said, it's mostly self-care bits to be fair. So, kind of wholesome. This is firstly from Boots. It's come out because me, I had a look at it because it was in my car. But it's the Wet Brush Go Green Curl Detangler. And I really like wet brushes. And this was on offer in Boots from like, I think it was like £16 down to £9. And I needed a new brush. And I thought this looked really nice. I really like wet brushes. I had one a few years ago, but I just don't know where it's gone. But basically because of the bristles and the way that it like moves, you technically can brush through wet hair it's a little bit kinder but i just like it for actually detangling i prefer it to a tangle teaser i think um so yeah i got that and i thought it was cute as well it was giving like seashells palm tree summer i thought it was cute and pink so i got that then i got a pack of derma planners i need to do this maybe we'll get around to doing that tonight my face is so furry and i always get these these are really good just for getting like your peach fuzz off and stuff and this was a three pack from boots so i got those i've had those before and they were good so brilliant then i think i got this off court beauty but i got a restock of the laneige waterbank blue hyaluronic gel moisturizer i love this i always use the matching serum as well which is this and it's really good and i saw that court beauty they didn't have a lot off it but it, i think it was like 15 or 20 percent so it, it saved a couple of pounds and i was literally empty so i needed one. Oh, look it comes with a little applicator you know what that would be so good for my cordelay mask probably wouldn't use it for that but that's cute it says lanage on it oh so cute i love it when they do things like that they do it with the lip, lip mask as well don't they so this is the moisturizer it's like crack to be honest it's like addictive it makes your skin just look like water it's like this look i put some on because i've been having to be very 
sparse with the other one but i chucked it away yesterday because it was literally so empty it's such a nice like water based i mean it's called water bank it's literally in the name such a nice water based moisturizer i just love the way it makes my skin feel so i treat myself to one of them off cult beauty and then lastly Coco and Eve actually had a £10 sale on Mia texted me and told me and I was like ran I absolutely ran so I got a few goodies from there so I got I, well I say I Ollie actually treated me because I was like I was so excited I was like oh, oh my god Coco and Eve have got a £10 sale and he knows how much I love this specific shower gel and he was like let me get it you and I was like god I was like okay I was like, okay you can you can check out for me so I picked what I wanted so I got a re re I got a new bottle essentially I took this to Australia with me it had about this much left and I thought there's no point putting that back in my case to bring it home so I actually left it in his friend's apartment and I said I know this doesn't mean much to you as a boy but as a girl this is an incredible shower gel so I just was like please take care of I like enjoy her you know realize what you've got like it, it's it's not a 99p one from probably wherever you're getting it from i was like this is insane so i hope they enjoyed it so i got a new one of this it's the smoothie shower gel lichen dragon fruit scent and i've already got the matching cream and it lasts a really long time so it's really thick but it's probably one of the only ever moisturizer shower gels that i've used that i can actually still smell on myself like i was after whereas i feel like normally you get out of the shower and the smell has practically gone off of a one so i thought that was good so then i tried the other scent the tropical mango one and i think i prefer the dragon fruit one to be honest which is weird because i am such like a mango girl but this to me smells a little bit more coconutty vanilla -y. still fruity but it's a bit more like that whereas this one is like fruit you know it's very like fruit in your face and you're like whoa a bit sick like it's really sweet this it reminds me of something else i don't know what like coconut i think like coconut even vanilla but i got that anyway and i thought for 10 pound really good because it did last me a long time and then i also got the matching whipped body cream this is really good and i feel like using them as a duo you really just like solidify the scent so i got all that for 30 pound which i thought was pretty good to be fair i've never seen coco and eve do that before so it's like this like it's really thick but honestly, it is just the nicest moisturiser. Like, it's really thick. It goes a long way. It feels quite firm in. And it just smells incredible. You know what it smells like? Fake tan. That's it. It smells like fake tan. Specifically, is it loving tan? Oh, I'm just trying to close my eyes. But tan smells really nice. Oh, I think it might be loving tan, you know? Oh my god, I think I've just... Or is it Coco and Eve? It's Coco and Eve. It's Coco and Eve. It smells like the Coco and Eve. Fake tan. Oh, well, at least we know. At least we figured that out. Because I always say how nice the Coco and Eve tan smells. It literally smells like fruit on your body. And that's literally what it smells like. Oh my god, that is so strange. Oh, it's so nice though. And honestly, I've put this on over an evening. And then the next day, Ollie has literally smelt me. Not, I haven't even smelt myself only. Like, he has also smelt me. So... I feel like that is a good sign. Um, let me just put the top back on. So that's everything that I brought. You know, some impulsive purchases, but mainly wants to cheer me up and a little bit of retail therapy never hurt anybody, especially when it's on sale and you know you've got to buy it. Like, I knew I had to buy that at some point, so I thought, while it's on sale, I might as well. So, let's talk about the day. What me and Mia had hoped to do today was have a huge content day. We had both had content to get for brands that we wanted. We thought, you know, while we're together, it's the brilliant time to get it done, get pictures, get reels, whatever we needed to get. This is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum, by the way. And that was our plan. I was so hyped up about it, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to curl my hair, blah, blah, blah. I have woke up this morning to the most vile weather. It's literally raining so hard it's gray the sky is just cloudy and apparently it's meant to rain for the whole day so we've had to kind of change our plans so i think instead and then tomorrow we were gonna well we are still gonna but our plan tomorrow is to go to 
Primark home at Mary Hill because if you're not from around here you know like most Primarks just have like Primark and then like a little home section upstairs or something well the one at Mary Hill literally has a whole shop dedicated to homeware so it's like a whole shop which is crazy and it was it's really good we went when Mia first brought her house and she literally brought everything like she filled like trolleys and she brought so much from there so i really want to go because there's these specific plates that i want and i've been reluctant to buy them because i thought oh the classic excuse what if i end up getting in the house and i don't like them well i still like them whenever i see anyone has them i'm like oh my god i love those plates so i feel like it's a you know like a justified purchase and I thought that would be fun for us to do tomorrow. So that's what we plan to do tomorrow. And then that, this is what we plan to do today. But obviously, we can't really do that. So I think what we're going to do is there's a few baby events that Mia wants to go to. I think she said Tesco and Morrison's. I don't know how long they last. So I don't know when you see this video, if you are a mom or a mom to be pregnant, whatever, whether it will still be on. I'm not sure. But um, she wants to go and have a look what they've got. So we're going to do that. And then I said, why don't we go to HomeSense? Because where HomeSense is in Stafford, we could maybe stop somewhere and get like a pic somewhere at like a cute cafe. So at least we've got one piece of content filmed. It's really hard to get like content when the weather's so bad because it's like one, you need the light in and two, you don't want to just be stood outside. Like I don't think many of you guys would like seeing our outfits if we were just drained in rats in the rain. So we are going to go to Home Sense. There's a Matalan, there's a B&L. We're just going to have a little bit of a chilled mooch around probably grab a coffee somewhere cute like i said and then maybe we can get a picture and then tomorrow we're going to go over to merry hill which i'm excited for and then the plan for the rest of the week i don't think i really said to you guys we're also going to work out tomorrow i'm having the day off today and then i'm thinking we go to the gym tomorrow thursday friday and then i should be pretty good like i'm happy with four days a week i don't really want to do too much more i've got a few errands i need to run example one i need to take my disposable camera if you don't buy these for holiday you're really missing out normally i'm so good i'm literally off the plane and straight to the camera shop but i've forgotten i saw it in my bag my airport bag just when i was oh my makeup was at ollie's i've literally had to drive to ollie's this morning to get my makeup bag so i need to take that to max spielman at some point so i might do that today it normally takes about 10 days to get back so that's that on thursday it is my sister-in-law's driving test so if she fails which i don't think she will i actually really believe in it i drove with her on on saturday and she was actually really good so i took her to her theory and she asked me to take her to her driving test so because she had a few problems with her driving instructor so i was like absolutely maybe i'm your good luck charm because you've passed your theory with me so i've got that on thursday afternoon i think in the morning i might pop out and film a video my car's in the garage tomorrow so mia's going to drive us over to mary hill my car's just being looked at i think i need new brakes or something i'm not really sure ollie just booked me in and was like your car's in on wednesday so he's like you need to get it looked at so that's tomorrow and then Friday is just going to be a bit of a grandparents day. I'm going to see my grandma in the morning, probably grab some lunch with her and maybe my mom. And then in the afternoon, I'm just going to go over and see my nan and granddad. And then obviously it'll be a weekend of house renovations. And because I didn't vlog last week, guys, the house has, in the house has changed so much. Like even since the last update in the weekly vlog that I uploaded last night, Monday night for you guys, which was from not that week, the week before, I showed you the updates at the start of last week and it's all, well, it's not all changed, but the upstairs has changed. The upstairs has been plasterboarded. It looks so different and good. It looks like an actual like house now. It doesn't look like what it did, just like a, I don't even know, like an abandoned home. So I'm really excited about that. We've got a bit of prepping to do this weekend. Depending on how we get on with that, then it will start getting plastered either this week or next week. So then the whole upstairs, other than the one room, which I've told you guys about, um, it will be plastered upstairs. And then basically once it's plastered, it will be like a little bit more over to me. So I can start looking at paint samples, carpet samples, and that will be much more fun to take you guys along on. And like, 
that'll be purely like ollie's not really that interested in getting involved he's just like i trust you to you know i show him my vision boards i show him my pinterest boards and he's like i trust you to make us a nice home so that will be really fun to start being able to do all of that i've got lots of ideas and like lots of things that i want to do and try so that will be so much fun. I feel like once it's plastered, the house just will feel so much better. And then Ollie's going to start working on the outside of the house, which he was going to put off. But I think he was like, I don't think there's much point doing like the downstairs until the outside is done. So then that will be done. And then the bathroom's starting to get plumbed tonight. So then we can start looking at ordering the bathroom. I think I have actually like not changed my mind completely but i've found a really cute inspo pick and i think i want to base the majority of the bathroom off this like i really like the vibe so let me show you quickly i really like this i love the black and white tiles on the floor i definitely wanted it to be like woody and hotel -y, so i'm still gonna go for like that like vintagey brass lights taps shower um but i like the marble with the black tiles so i kind of like that and then we're gonna have like textured plaster on the walls but i kind of liked it that there was just a little bit of black i'm not one for like lots of matte black i prefer like gold accents but i quite liked that i feel for like it's nice to have the the both the gold and the black but just in like small amounts you know so yeah it's all coming along and i'm so excited so that will be pretty much what we do all weekend so that'll be our plans all weekend so i'll be able to show you and obviously it'll start getting a little bit more fun now i mean i i know you guys are enjoying the journey but like i'm just excited to be able to like paint and panel i think i'm gonna panel up the stairs maybe or in the hallway i definitely want some sort of paneling not too much but a little bit so i'm so excited it's such a fun fun chapter and then as soon as we're in i've had a few questions about like are we going to have an engagement party and things and i'm not going to have like an engagement party purely one we just don't have the time at the minute like all of our weekends are filled with doing the house so it'd feel a little bit silly being like oh no we're gonna have a daft for an engagement party so what we're gonna do is when we move into the house we're just gonna have like a housewarming slash engagement party and we'll just hopefully it'll be summer so hopefully we'll be able to have it outside which i feel it'll be really cute we can just have it like chilled barbecue vibes have our families have our siblings have our friends like just have it a little bit more like chilled so yeah we're not having a traditional like engagement party i think that will probably be better for us because I, I like the outside vibe and like more of a chilled vibe anyway and i feel like it'll be so nice to do it in our new house and then it's sort of housewarming engagement party new chapter so that's what i'm thinking anyway i'm going to finish my makeup but those are that is my my pre-powder routine i'm not going to do much more I just add a bit of powder and a bit more bronze and blush um what i'll do is i'll make a little like link down below so you can click it and then all my makeup products will be there so little products that i probably haven't shown you guys before that i've just used this is the brazilian glow bronzing serum i just put that on my neck it's by ciate the spray is by ciate i'm obsessed with ciate refi brush ciate um blush then I actually used this the other day. It's the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I used it as foundation the other day. I don't know why. And it looked really nice. So I've done it again. And I really like it. I feel like it makes my skin look quite like airbrushed. And it's a little bit darker than... It's like a different undertone. Instead of that like red, it's a bit more of like an orangey, like yellow, which I do like. So cause I, I never get to use that. It's so dark. I brought the wrong shade. So that's fun. Then my Beauty Blender... Um, Giorgio Armani concealer and that is pretty much all the products I used I believe I'm just going to use this brown mascara just curl my lashes and add that and then got a little bit of work to do and then we're going to go out so let me finish this face and then I will see you guys in a bit okay they're bouncy but I don't quite know what to do with them that look cute i don't know it hasn't fallen straight so i'm a bit scared to maybe we just do a side it's a bit too much for me i think isn't it i look about 40 it would look cute but it's fresh hair i don't really want to have to 
Okay, we're just gonna let them fall and figure out themselves. Oh gosh. Guys, look what come through the post yesterday. A huge white fox package. I'm so excited to be working with them. I've worked with them once before, but this is one in like a bigger capacity. And secondly, I'm so excited. I just love white fox. I feel like they're so cool. And it's giving me my Australian fix that I'm so desperately missing. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do this morning. Mia's got a scan. So while I'm waiting for her, I thought I would open it and do a haul. But it's going to be on another video. So maybe I'll put some sneak peeks in here for you. But this will already be on the channel. And basically I've ordered all things on here from here that like I want to be wearing this spring. So I'm not being boring with my outfits. I really tried to be like not sensible as in like sensible boring things but like i really try to think what do i want to be dressing with this this spring like cool things that are gonna it's like a workout cool things that i'm gonna be able to rewear loads and i really focused on getting stuff like that so oh, these are the best parcels i swear and they send some stuff in these and honestly it's just so cute and they're so handy to then like use to travel so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give my room a quick tidy film a haul. I also feel like I haven't filmed a haul on the channel for a while and it's how I started. So, and with a brand, to be working with a brand like this, it's insane. So go and watch it, go and support it. It would mean so much to me and it will just mean that we get more of these and I get to show you guys more clothes from, you know, all my favourite brands such as White Fox. So I'll also have a discount code if I've got it, which I should. Oh, they haven't sent it me yet but i'll put it on the screen here i imagine it'll be something like jody may I'll, I'll let you know and i'll leave it below so yeah i thought if i film this now then i can wear something today maybe but if not i will wear it tomorrow to get content that's what i was hoping to get content for today in these but it hasn't worked like that which is fine so i'm gonna film this anyway and then we'll continue with the day also these pajamas they're so cool you know you feel like I need to be my rich mom era. These are from Asta. And my grandma got them my mum for her operation, but she didn't like them, so Jodie got them. <laughs> They're really cool. They're just like, these are my favourite kind of pyjamas, like a button-up leg, wide leg, because you feel like put together a little bit more than wearing like some of my other pyjamas that have got like SpongeBob heads on, but they're still comfy, so. Guys, I'm just getting dressed for the day. All my white pox. I filmed a TikTok haul, a YouTube haul and did all my try on clips. So doing try on clips is like a, whew, it's a hot sweaty task. I think I'm just going to wear this tracksuit today because Mia's been outside because like I said she has a scan today and it's just meant to be horrible weather. So I thought well I'll just throw a comfy tracksuit on, nothing better than a new fresh white fox one. And I'm just going to claw clip my hair up and then hopefully it won't get too ruined in the rain just using this one from PLT. I'd, I've never kept a claw clip so long than this one. Like I literally had it for about three years. I don't know how, she's just never got lost. Like, and even if she does, she shows up, like she is so dedicated to her job. She never goes missing, I don't know what it is. So this is the tracksuit. I've had really horrible heartburn since last night and I just can't really get on top of it. Um, I've asked Mia to drive because my car's going in tomorrow for new brakes, so I said because it's raining. That's fine. I'm just gonna try and do something with my hair, and then I will put two parts of the sweatpants in the chassis, iPad, and then that will come down again. Um, Mia's gonna come and pick me up, and then we're gonna go over to Stafford, and we're gonna have a little look around Home Sense. And there's like Matalan B&M and everything. But what I just put on my story to ask you guys, I am very overwhelmed with the whole house buying, not house, like the, the buying for the house. Like I'm very, I just like, I'm really scared of buying stuff and then getting in the house and either not having a purpose for it or just no longer liking it. So I've literally brought nothing, like other than those bits that I showed you yesterday from TK Maxx and Sainsbury's. I'm just going to show you this, it might be a bit loud. I've literally not brought anything, like we've got a kettle and toaster because I got one for my birthday, the Smeg ones. But overall, we've literally got nothing. 
so I just said on Instagram like what are your must-haves like things that you wish you would have brought because also things start to add up and I don't want to be in there and then all of a sudden like I have to buy everything at once because the big purchases like sorry guys you just very rudely died but I went downstairs to get a new battery and I made myself a little well I'm absolutely starving I've got granola some kefir yogurt some strawberries blueberries and some honey this is how it looks yummy i so what i was saying was obviously buying a house is one very expensive renovating a house is also very expensive and furnishing a house like when you've got nothing obviously when you're moving from house to house like you probably have your standards like your dining room table your bed your mattress like we're literally obviously starting from scratch because there's nothing really other than literally this ikea unit that i can possibly bring with me um like we could use ollie's bed for a while but it's it, ollie's bed's gray and gray is not really my vibe so i obviously don't want to buy any of those like big things until we're in the house or at least like rooms like where would we put them we can't just put like a bed in the middle of the house the way it is because it would just get in the way it'll probably get ruined and whatever even in the box like it's going to re realistically get in the way of work being done so my sort of thoughts at the moment is just like buying as we go up until this point because everyone always says that when i was speaking to my grandma she said when she knew she was moving out oh this is actually one thing i did buy for australia for the house i brought this little australia tea towel how cute it's got a little kangaroo one we wanted to get something to remember the trip so we got that so when i was talking to my grandma about it she's like oh yeah like we always had like a bottom drawer and it would be like a drawer under the bed or somewhere where when you knew you were going to move out or like on the lead up to you know like you'd buy all your little things and then when you then move out you've got like a section of stuff that you've already got because this is the worst food to try and eat and talk like being realistic it's gonna cost us a lot of money so i just really want to like try and like budget it so that we haven't got to buy everything when we first move in because on top of that we're then going to be like starting to pay for bills and things and there's just gonna be a lot of purchases when we actually get in the house so on like these like next couple months leading up to i just want to be buying like little things so that when i get in the house I haven't got to start from nothing because obviously it will all add up a lot so i've asked on my instagram you're on my phone but i saw a few people were saying like a hoover is a really good one especially if you see one on offer that you want like it's worth buying and investing in and um, like plates forks bowls like cooking stuff you know just like little things so that at least like we're kind of functional and then all like the knickknacks are like, actually decorating the house like that can wait and i'm so happy to buy as we live because like i don't know what I don't know what I'm going to want the house to look like and I don't want to like focus on like an aesthetic and then when I'm in there I'm like I'm so over that aesthetic or like that's why I want the house to be like quite classic and traditional because I just feel like then I won't get bored of it I'll be able to take a lot of the stuff that we buy to our next house when that comes like I do want to be smart about it like I don't just want to be ended up with like a load of like donut vases and I'm like I fucking hate donut vases now you know so I'm just trying to be a little bit clever about it so if you've got any list suggestions I know a lot of, like we're all sort of probably the same age same sort of ages in our 20s like things like this are going to start happening for a lot of us I've had so many messages like please share so if you have got any recommendations please pop them in the comments or dm them me and then I'll create like a bit of a list and then obviously as I go I'll I'll let you guys know how I got on with it and sort of share that but yeah that's where i currently am so i'm gonna eat this and then i will see you guys when i'm with mia guys we made it to home sense mia is here very loud music on don't they yeah i don't know why angels we're just having a little mooch around i feel like upstairs is better these days isn't it yeah I agree this is like knick knackies yeah yeah but it was in this it's literally that in that do you like the yeah i've never had it this one's called Ibiza. Ibiza. It smells like Ibiza. It smells really nice, actually. Oh, wild apple and fresh citrus. I actually like that for once. Mm. It's very fresh. Like it'd be nice in the bathroom. Yeah. We get know. rid of all the smells. Yeah. <laughs> this one also looks really cute. I feel like you like this. It's peachy. Yeah, I like. Do you that. like that? Yes. Yeah. As it goes. Very fresh again. Yeah. 
jasmine lemon and green so are you liking the citrus and the I lemon i feel like you might like this cucumber and me no no i don't like it you might it's quite fresh i don't think, I would I think I, burn. yeah that's the thing isn't I, it? it's very fresh i think in the summer You'd like that. Yeah. Maybe as an outside country. Yeah. Let's get rid of the parties. Yeah, it's nice. French. Probably nice. It'll be a bit like the Tim Hortons one, I imagine, won't it? Do you reckon? Guys, we've come to the Verso Lane. We weren't sure where to go, but we like it here and it's cozy in here, isn't it? So it is. I've ordered a tomato and mozzarella panini with soup to dip in and then I got sweet potato fries on the on the side. And then what have you had? Mia's unsure, but Mia's thinking of getting hummus. Mm. Maybe a bit of halloum. Yeah. And maybe just a little little picky maybe yeah, some fries, nice. you know, just a little summit. Section. Absolutely. And then we've also ordered two coffees, the honeycomb latte. Thank you. Thank you. The honeycomb latte and the French vanilla latte. So I'll show you when it comes, but we're excited. You're saying it. Okay, this is the honeycomb one. Yeah. Really nice. Is it good? <laughs> well, I like it. I think so, because it, yeah. Mm. Different. I don't know what I expected from honeycomb. What is honeycomb? Well, not honey, I guess. Is honeycomb a crunchy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't really like that one. Could do a bit more with it, isn't it? Not very sweet, is it? No. Give it a good mix. There seems more rice in that one than this one. Yeah. Doesn't have loads of flavour, does it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey guys, this is what we got. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is red sauce. Oh, hi. Yeah. I love that. I like a proper like, cafe. In me too. Essential. Absolutely. Thank you. Mayo. <laughs> Hello guys, we are home. Oh, I feel so tired. I haven't been able to sleep the past two nights. I don't know what it is, but I just literally have not been able to sleep. Like, you know, when you're just on your phone and you're just not getting tired. Well, like, Ollie's been fast asleep like a baby and I've literally just been sat there like... And then you know what happens then? You end up doom scroll scrolling. And you know what's the worst part? A doom scroll could go on for hours. Like, how it, TikTok should have a limit. I should really limit, limit myself. But then I feel like in times of desperation like that, I'd turn it off anyway. But I, I'm going to have a quick tidy of my room. And then I'm going to get on with... Um, <laughs> then I'm going to get on with cooking dinner. I don't know what I fancy. Honestly, I just want to go to bed. I feel really tired. Um, there's nothing worse as well than like struggling to sleep because when I struggle to sleep and go to bed late I then end up waking up later and it's just then annoying like you're getting in a horrible cycle so I'm really going to try and get in a good routine tonight and then I'm going to say to all in the morning please wake me up like don't not even though it's like five o'clock when he gets up and leaves like I'd rather be awake even if I'm just on my phone you know <laughs> doom scroll in the morning is better than a doom scroll at night so so yeah that's the update guys i didn't get anything today mia only got a little stanley dupe from home bargains there wasn't a lot in home sense to be honest it was a little bit basic i feel like there was much more in tk maxx last week which was weird because i feel like i don't know home sense is very hit or miss you either go in and you find loads of stuff or you go in and there's nothing and that was one of those days so there was literally nothing worth raving about i saw one cute like forest green chair but i don't think i'm quite confident enough to have a forest green chair it was lovely and it was like um boucle and it was like a really cute design but i feel like i'd want more of like a tonal green like more of a sagey it was very like almost bottle it was a little bit too much for me but none nonetheless it was a fun day out had a nice little lunch and i don't know if i showed you guys the tracksuit properly i think i did didn't i um it's really comfy nothing better than a white fox track suit i'm sorry so yeah happy tuesday angels anyway i don't really have much else to say so love you and i will show you what we have for dinner and then i will probably speak to you guys in the morning <laughs> Tastes like a vanilla one. Yeah. The verbal is for sharing all kinds of moments. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and this is how it looks guys this is so good it's basically the marry me chicken off of tiktok that is ollie's he's currently working at the house so i'm gonna eat mine and then i'm gonna box this up and take it to him but this is it's so good it's literally my obsessive meal Wednesday. Happy hump day my loves. It is Wednesday morning and we are off for our second gym session of the week. I actually got up with Ollie this morning. It kind of killed me. I think I went to sleep around 11 half 11 i don't know why but we were just watching youtube last night and then this random video came on we were watching um nico and then this random video came on next and it was this like man who was traveling first class to every continent in a week and it was like a 45 minute video i got like halfway but it really engrossed me like i know that doesn't sound the most interesting and i was watching it thinking this isn't that interesting but I was hooked and the video has a lot of millions of views so I thought obviously a lot of other people felt that too so I did actually wake up this morning and finish it um I can't think it was called like trek travel or something I don't know anyway it is Wednesday morning I got up this morning with all about half five I watched the sunrise and it was so pretty I'm pretty sure I tried to get a clip for you guys it was such a pretty sunrise and then I've literally just been working I had some editing to do some videos to send for approval and things so I just got on with that this morning and now we are at the gym so it is time to go for an upper body session I think I'm going to do back and boys today so I haven't trained that for weeks. It's just the way it's been happening. I've been doing like legs, 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 and then maybe throwing in a chest set, a, a chest day. So we're gonna go to the gym. New. Oh my god, I hate myself. I left my beats on and they've died. And that's so annoying. So I literally have a charger here. I could have, I could have charged them. Okay, right. We'll have to sit here for five minutes and charge these. Let's turn the car back on. Oh, that's so irritating. Yeah, they're charging. Right, we'll let them charge up for five minutes. But good morning we've got a very fun day today me and Mia when I get home anyway I'm going to go in the plunge pool get myself ready and then me and Mia are going to head to Primark but this is the outfit hat is I think I got this from JD but they sell these everywhere um bow and tea lululemon and then I've actually got my Adenola leggings on and I've got on my new new balance I think these are eight eight seven eight and I actually really like them they're like a bit of a dad shoe with like a platform still. Really cool. I really like them anyway. guys a proper good morning from me so we have worked out i actually i didn't have the longest session but i did like 10 minutes cardio and then i did biceps and back so happy with that i did two minutes in the plunge pool again i didn't do it yesterday just because i was like if i'm not working out like i'm probably just not gonna do it 
so i'm just going to try and make like a conscious effort to do it every day that i'm working out so i did two minutes it was a little bit rough because it just i guess the longer the water sits it gets colder pretty sure it has to be emptied today i'm sure my brother said about every four days you have to empty it and start again so i guess it's just got like so cold over the four days it was freezing and it's also colder outside today than when i did it the first time but it's fine i did it it's really not bad it's like 30 seconds but why we're here i today i'm gonna to take you guys to primark home i don't quite know where to put you you can go there for a sec i'm so excited me and mia when she brought her house we went to primark home in merry hill and we brought so much for the house and now i'm really excited because now we get to do it for mine so i've got a few things that i've wanted for ages like i've had my eye on the, this specific like dinnerware set in primark for ages and i always wanted it but i didn't want to buy it because at this point we didn't even have the house and we were still waiting and then like i've just been a bit hesitant but i haven't seen it for a while i haven't been to primark for ages and merry hill is much better because we can go to primark home and then take it to the car whereas in birmingham i'd be like lugging it around so it's not really the vibe so we're gonna go to merry hill it's really cool because there's like a primark here and then next door there's actually just like a primark home store like it's a full shop so I feel like we hopefully will be able to find it. I know they have the one that I want and then they do seem to have like a newer version that kind of looks the same, but like different. So I'm really excited to go. So come with us. I'm very, very, very excited to take you guys. I'm going to take my charger for you because you haven't got all the charge. But Mia's coming to pick me up from Owls because I'm going to take Amber out tomorrow to... Oh no, sorry. I'm going to take Amber out in a car later. So I thought if my car's here, then at least I can just get dropped off back here and I'm going to take her out in her car. How long she's going to be? She always gets a bit confused driving here. Let me see where she is. Just... Oh, okay. She's probably about 10 minutes. So yeah, that's what we're up to today. I'm very excited to go to Primark home. So come along with us. We're just going to have a nice shopping day. Merry Hill's fun anyway. So I'll show you my outfit properly when I'm right, but I've just got on this white fox hoodie and I've also got my Uggs. That I'm gonna put on. I haven't worn them since before Australia, so I was left resting my phone on one to do a TikTok. So I don't know how those will go getting on, but I will try. And yeah, that's the vibe. So happy Wednesday. Feeling, I feel. I guess I should feel sad today. Um, it's a week since we lost Sash, but you know what? I truly feel in my heart of hearts that as much as I miss her, it was really the right decision so i'm trying not to be like sad i'm trying to be more happy that we had her for 17 years you know that's like and i'm really proud of myself for actually getting here i really almost have been worse months leading up to it and like but now i know it was the right decision and i have like almost confirmation from like little signs we've had and things that it was the right decision so i'm trying not to like beat myself up about it and like be sad like i, I know it was the right decision and everyone keeps saying like it's really like the last kind thing that you can ever do for your dog. So I'm really trying to take that mindset. So if you, I've had lots of messages off you guys saying, you know, you're going through the same thing or you, you think you're going to have to go through the same thing, like in the um, short future sort of thing, like it's sort of coming up. And I just want you to know that it is, it is so horrible. Like I, I can't, I can't tell you that it's not going to be horrible, but I'm going to tell you that you will come around that it was the best thing for your baby and that's how I feel like it, it was the best thing for her I know she'll be so one she'll be so much happier to be with my dad than, than me <laughs> she loved me she loved my dad so much so she'll be so happy to be with him and also just she will be like re revived in her youth and everything that she sort of lost she'll have back so I'm really trying to take that that sort of perspective with it and I feel a lot better so yeah that's how I personally am feeling a week after. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really proud of myself. Like I really didn't know how I'd cope with this, but I am really truly proud of myself. And I'm proud of her and I'm proud of my brother and I'm proud of my mom and everything. So yeah, love you guys. And I will see you at shopping. I'm so excited. <laughs> Minor delays. Hi. Right, we are here. We're, we're gonna go through Primark first and then we'll see Because what. if we've got plates and stuff, we want yeah, to get them last room. Yeah, yeah. Like, get them wrapped up safely. Be, yeah, I haven't really been here really for so long. long. I haven't oh. been to Primark for so long, I need to I can't believe how long you haven't been in one. I oh, know. It's mental. That's my one thing I need today. I need to get a hoop. Ears. Yeah. Some they do feel soft. They feel a bit thicker than the seamless, but I don't know what they actually look like. They're a nice cut, but yeah. we moan about ripped. I know. 
We say we're seamless girls. These then. are four pound, guys. What, how much did they used to be? Three fifty. I think so. Disgusting. Pink as well. <laughs> guys, I've just seen these. I think I'm gonna get them. Three pound fifty. Cute little shapes. This is a cute co ward. Pink blazer. And then I think is it a skirt or a skirt? This will be cute. Oh, she's gone. I was gonna say it'd be cute for Mia's baby shower. Auntie Jade. The Rita Aurora collection has quite a lot, but guys, can we just agree on one thing? I just, I mean, out of them all, the denim ones are probably the cutest, but I just can't get on board with them. I feel like I just look so flat and stumpy. I feel like you'd really have to be like, given that like supermodel, I don't know, where were you on, but I can't really get on board with them. That pink bag's cute. If it wasn't satin, it would be cuter. I'm just looking at some more hoops. I've had these ones before. Chunky gold. I don't know if you get these though. I don't know if they're a bit skinny. You no, know, the bottom ones, but I quite like those ones. These ones also look nice, but they already are giving like yellow, and I feel like they'll just turn really yellow. I think I've got the best ones. These pajamas, guys, they're not the softest, they're like a waffle. But they look really cute. The trays are 12, tops are 7, and then they've got shorts for 8. They're really cute, they're very Pinterest girl. Guys, I found the bottles. These are very small as well. Yeah, I feel like this is a Yeah, I don't think, yeah. I'd rather have my cereal in there. Me too. Honest, my cereal's not fitting in there. Me neither, I don't know what... Is that the same size as that? Are they more of a trinkety? Yeah. That's a standard size, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... Hungry girls. I'm not that's for like nuts. <laughs> that's for <laughs> <my> crisps. <laughs> yeah. And then these are the side plates. I don't know how much they all are. I'd get three pounds fifty. Me too. Oh wait, right. because <laughs> you've got a big family. I don't see it. Do I know. I don't have any family. And then these are the dinner plates. It feels stressful having four. Do we put them by the tip? Guys, we checked out. This is how we're actually packed to get a trolley from M and M. So embarrassing. <laughs> so we think we're all going to be able to fit in here anyway. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Apologies that I didn't speak to you last night. I took Amber on like a three hour like driving lesson. <laughs> And then literally we got back. I quickly made some chicken wraps, but I will cook them with you next week because, oh my God, they were insane. It was really one of those meals where I was just like, I don't really know where to go with this. So I'm just gonna use what I've got, throw it together in a wrap. And I could not get enough compliments. Like Ollie was like, they, he, like he texted me, he was eating them and I wasn't even sat with him. He texted me, they were unreal. Anyway, it is Thursday. It is three minutes past seven. I got up with all about half five and I am just going to the gym. I really could have fell back to sleep today, but it's so strange. Like if you honestly stay awake for like 10 minutes, sorry, you're wobbling. It's just, oh, there you go. If you stay awake for three minutes in the morning, three minutes, if you stay awake for like 10 minutes in the morning, you just end up waking up. I'm not gonna go and lift weights today. I'm either gonna go and do a 12, 3.30, because my legs are still aching and my upper body's aching from yesterday. So I don't want to do like a half assed weight lifting workout. So I'm either going to do a bit of cardio, like 12, 3, 30, or I'm going to see if there's a class on. I'm not really up to date with the schedule of the classes at the minute because obviously I haven't done them for months. are back i've quickly just got myself ready for the day i'm just gonna have like a no makeup chill day because it's just gonna be very very you know errand running whatever sort of day so as promised here is a huge primark home haul we spent i mean i got a lot and it like it wasn't i mean was it expensive was it not i don't think so i would like to think that primark home is relatively affordable so i'll start with the little bits first i just picked up these five microfiber cloths these are only 150 and I, honestly i just liked the aesthetic of them they were very like i just loved like the stripes and the gingham i'm sure you can tell and like the the browns and i thought for one pound 50 obviously i'll probably end up needing maybe another pack or so of these because washing cleaning changing you know but i thought i'll get five for now i liked these ones so i got those and I thought we'll need some as soon as we move in. I also got this to-do list because I am a real like to-do list kind of girl. I find them really helpful. You're not really in the best angle. I'm sorry. 
little bit there. Um, I'm a real like to-do list girl, proper throw from them. This was only £1.30 and I do tend to do them on my phone and it's good because then you're sort of they're, they're with you on the go, what you need to do. But I also do love to write them down. So I thought for £1.30 I got this. It's just like this and it's got like the flowers on and it's a big fat pack and I thought this would be nice just to like put on my desk, on my room, wherever and then I can just write what I've got to do. Like maybe for the week and then like on my phone I can do like my day one sort of thing. But I thought that was nice. I liked the aesthetic. And then I had to get the earrings. Obviously like I showed you guys, these were three fifty from the Rhea Aurora collection and it's two little pairs. Um, which one should I put in? I think I'm going to put like the teardrop ones in today because they're a little bit smaller. I really like Primark hoops because if you're like me, you're going to lose them. Do they look cute? Yeah, they're just nice for a no makeup day. You're going to lose them. They're going to tarnish. Who wants to be spending loads? But it's nice because then you can have a few different pairs from Primark and it's affordable. We're like an affordable girly over here. Okay those cute okay and then what i went for was essentially a dinnerware set so i was a bit unsure of how many to get because like, we've got very big families like not that my family is that big but obviously i've got siblings i've got a mom i've got a stepdad i've got grandparents and ollie's family is a very big family so like i probably will have to go and buy more but i don't know whether to go for the same set or whether i get like a different set Maybe just from like Sainsbury's or somewhere, you know, and like they come in the boxes and then maybe I get like another set that sort of goes with the colours but just can be like, if that many people are around, there we go. So I ended up going for a set of six and I got these ones. I really like them. They look classic. They're given like floral, minimal, but I really like the like, sort of like, not vintage, but they've got like the brassy, um, like almost bronzy gold around the side. So I thought they'd go gorgeous with my new knives and forks. And these were £3.50. So these are the side plates. Then these are the dinner plates. These were £5, which I thought was really good. They feel like, they feel heavy. They don't feel too light, but they also don't feel like, obviously, a really expensive heavy set. But I feel like for our first home, these are literally perfect. It's all we need. So yeah, these were £5. So I've got six of those, six of these. And then, right, so the bowls. <laughs> This is funny. So, let's just get to them. The lady in Primark was so nice. She actually wrapped them all up individually and then put them in the reusable bags for us. So, I, I think these are probably my favourite out of the whole set. So, I just love how it's got like, the detail down. So, these are the pasta bowls. Like this. These were £7. So, these are actually more expensive than the plates, which is kind of weird. I would have expected them to be the opposite. But these are a really nice size compared to the big plate so imagine if they were on top like this like how cute set up for like a dinner party how nice is that so those are the pasta plates um i really love these pasta plates and um, pasta bowls even so what they pass is a cereal bowl is this am i greedy or i mean i guess they are deep but i just feel like my cereal probably wouldn't fit in that they're really quite small and I feel like Ollie cereal definitely wouldn't fit in that. Like maybe if I was having like granola, yogurt and fruit and might like a little acai bowl, it might be because like I say, they are quite, quite deep. Like if you compare it, they're about the same depth. So fair enough. But I just thought I can't be serving food to people in that. Like in that silly. So I just got two of these because I thought they're cute for like little snacks. You know, maybe if I was doing like steak, then I could put like the chips in here or the mashed potato. I don't know. I thought more for like serving like little sort of bowls. So I got those and these were 3 50 This is them. But can you see it's like a really nice like textured um and I just love this detail here like with the scalloped edge. So the ones that I originally saw in Primark a while ago, they did have that set but they only had like odd bits. I don't know which one I prefer, but this was like my only choice really. So I just went for this, but it was cute. So all of that. So I got six plates, six pasta bowls, six side plates, and then two of the little bowls, plus all those little things. That come to a hundred and, I think it was a hundred and seven pound. Yeah, hundred and seven pound fifty. So I don't think it's awful because I feel like obviously it will see us through. Hopefully they're good quality. 
The only thing that kind of stresses me out is that if we smash or break, Primark aren't going to stock them forever, which is why I'm like low key tempted to just maybe go and buy like two more of everything, but that's not an essential. And they they always do stock things for a while. These ones have only like recently came out, so fingers crossed that's good. But I'm really happy with it. And I showed Ollie, and he was like, I love them. He's like, I'm really happy. So I feel like this is just going to be how I do it. Like maybe next month I will go and find some like nice pans because we want cast iron pans. So maybe next month that's what I'll buy, like the cast iron pans and like pots and pans and stuff. Because I feel like the kitchen is really where things will add up. I feel like stuff for your bathroom is going to be a little bit more like decor. Like I can get a majority of that probably from like being in. So that's not really like an essential for me at the minute. So I feel like the kitchen will be mainly like the big purchases for the moment, like what I'm buying. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. I've also got a boohoo haul for you guys, so I'm going to get that. Okay, first thing I got from boohoo was this pink zip up, and this was all very kindly gifted from boohoo. Not an ad, but just kindly sent me some bits. So I got this pink zip up. I got this in a small. I kind of feel like I ordered it in a medium or a large. It's not huge, but it's fine, and I really like the colour. And I feel like wearing it open like this is a cute better top. So I got this jacket, I don't know what this will actually be like, but I saw it in the new one and it looked really nice. So I got this in a size 8, because it did say come oversize, and it's like a um, green bomber jacket and it feels kind of padded. I feel like this probably a little bit more suited to autumn winter but I feel like this sort of transitional face could be quite cute maybe with some baggy blue jeans white top maybe my antelope uggs and then like a cream bag to sort of bring it a bit more bright um but I feel like this is cute I feel like you could layer it up really nice I got these Dior Duke sandals because I love myself a sandal I don't know whether they're like oh they've got sequins on maybe better for holiday i didn't realize i had sequins on but it's like a boucle sandal silver hardware not my first choice but cute nonetheless i got these in a four they're a wide fit as well just for my wide feet girlies which i kind of do have but these this is them they're cute i feel like i love a sandal literally with a jean like same outfit but with a jean really cute with a sandal even really cute then i love boohoo dresses i feel like i got so many last summer that I absolutely love and I feel like this shade of orange is just so cute for summer and I feel like even worn just with like a big denim jacket or like a white blazer is gorge so this is in a size 8 and it's like that like cheesecloth material with like the buttons and the milkmaid style and then there's just a zip up the back but I feel like just such a pretty day dress I feel like this time of year you just never know when you're going to get like a sunny day and I feel like this is nice for like shopping or lunch or like you know it's like a little day day not that we do many of those at the moment because of the haste but you never know so I really liked it I like the neckline the model looked beautiful in it and she also they, <laughs> she, they also do it in I think it was white or cream and I was tempted because I was thinking engagement fiance era but I was like I love orange I got a really pretty dress from them last year that was in orange so I went for an orange now I got this top to go with these shorts I got this in a size 10 mm, looks a bit big I was thinking it was more of a baby tee on the model it looked very much more like a baby tee vibe but I mean I know I don't drink alcohol so is it a little bit hyper Mm, what's the word hypocritical probably but i liked the shade of blue i thought this you could dress up quite nice with some jeans and some perspex heels and a little bag i just liked it like it was giving cute girly i've seen a lot of girls wear tops like this with like you know like satin midi midi skirts and i don't know like cool print trousers so i got that anyway more in mind to go with these shorts but i think that that might actually be a little bit too big I got these shorts I got these in a size 8 and they're just like a pinstripe boxer short I love these shorts like this I feel like I just wear them loads on holiday and whatever but also just you can wear them super street but you could also dress this up with a blazer and a little crop so I got these I really like them they also came in I want to say nude but I thought actually black and white I don't tend to go for much black and white but I feel like they'll actually look really nice like some chunky trainers or sandals little crop top cute but also i was thinking maybe with this top but mm, 
I'm not really sure. I think the top's probably going to be too big, but we'll have to try it on. And then I got this. Now, I feel like I've been seeing Perrichon and people like that wear these waistcoats so much. And they look really cool. And I thought this was a little bit more like me because it was like linen and beige. So I got this in a size 6 because I thought you don't want it to be big. But I don't... I feel like I'm going to be a little bit scared to wear it. But I just thought for like a nice dinner, like Ollie's birthday is coming up. So we'll probably go out. I don't really know what our plans are going to be. But I thought if we do happen to go out for dinner somewhere or like a Sunday lunch, this could be a, ma a matching maxi skirt. But I thought that might be a little bit too far for me right now. So I got this more to go with like jeans. like those. I got a lovely pair of jeans from White Fox um, in that haul. And I feel like this might look quite cute, maybe even with the sandals that i've shown you so it's this waistcoat it's like a long line one i don't know whether maybe i should have gone for a short one to start with so it just like hits the jeans and you have like a little bit of belly but i thought literally how it's come with that bottom button undone and then sort of like splitting over the jeans i thought it was just like quite mature and smart it might be quite nice so i don't know how that will go whether i'll actually vibe with it or not but i thought i'd like to try because i'm seeing all the cool girls wear them so the poa of the day it's about i think it's about half past nine i was just watching a little bit of mckenna i watched a bit of her this morning when ollie went to work the poa of the day is gonna be i've actually now got to go um ollie's mum just asked me to hang some washing out on the line so i'm gonna go and do that and then i've actually got to go to ollie's brother's house because him and his girlfriend are applying for planning permission on the new house so there's an architect coming but neither of them could make the appointment. So I've got to go. I went for a walk for yesterday with Nick and he like showed me the, the vibe and everything that he wanted. So I've made notes. He sent me a drawing of his own. So I've basically just got to relay this to the architect. So I hope I'll be okay. Hopefully I will. I mean, it can't really go too wrong. I'm just more worried that he's going to be like, I think you should do this and this. And I'm going to be like, well, it's not actually my decision. Like, I don't want it to be a waste. You know, I want to make sure that they get the planning permission and the drawings done and everything. So that's the POA. Then I'm going to go and meet my mom, and she needs to go to Sainsbury. So I'm going to take her there. I possibly might pop to Boots if I've got chance. And then this afternoon, it is Amber's driving test. So I need to run really. So I'm just going to tidy all this mess up, and then I will speak to you guys in a bit. Okay guys, little boots haul, I'll show you what I got. I actually had a gift card, so that's why I ended up just splurging. I got a few bits anyway. So what I got was, the first thing I got was this, this was half price. It was from like £9 to like £4.60 or something. It's the Dove Summer Revived Gradual Tanning Lotion. I got medium to dark. I didn't know if to go light to medium. So I went medium dark. So I thought this might like make my Australia tan last. I, I want to be able to not fight tan for as long as possible, basically. So I got that. Then, oh God, I then I got the Glotion L'Oreal. I looked on TikTok. I couldn't decide what size, what um, colour to got to get. I got the darkest one. I saw some girls say that the fair and the first two shades basically did nothing to your skin it just made you extremely glowy and i've got a lot of products that do that there was no medium and then there was this one they said these were a bit more like a tanning drop so they don't look too dark hopefully they'll just be okay you know for like a no makeup day or like under a base darcy's just on patrol like the house then i got rimmel lasting finish lip liner in tiramisu it's a nice like brownie shade these are personally the colors i like to wear so i got that then i got another four in one glow because i get through mine so fast and this is in the shade 1.5 light medium i use this all the time if you've watched me you'll see then i got the sunkissed blush in shade 05 blazing blush i've not seen these but they looked, they looked, well, they had like a new sign on and I don't have like a pink blush like this, but I thought it might be quite nice. Cause like the Refi one I've got is quite red. And then the made by Mitchell one that I've got is like a peach. So I thought a pink might be quite nice. You know, for like dull makeup, I can't get that off. Honestly, I think my boots must have a lot of shoplifters at the minute because there's no testers out. Everything is like extremely secured. I think there must be lots of shoplifters. So 
so hard to get into. So like, there's just literally nothing to try. You just have to fully guess. Which is annoying. I'm not going to be able to do that. But it's like a pink. See, I think it might look quite nice. So I got that. And we've got the hen do on Saturday. I might be able to... Yeah, this is nice. Um, So I thought it would be nice if we could try these products out. And I'll be able to do like a full face of makeup. Which will be nice too. This is the Rimmel... What's it called? Lift a plump. And it's got chili pepper in pigment so i don't know what this will be like but i got it in shade hot honey because it was giving me the, like the clinique lip oils because that's i got that in the shade honey and i really liked it so they had a few they had more pink ones coral red but i thought this would be nice because you could wear it with no makeup too i actually can't get any of these stickers off this is psychotic okay right we'll try this I wonder if it'll really plump them. So it looks. And it smells like a proper plumper. Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh, it's got like a shimmer. Okay, it's not sticky. Oh my god, it's burning. It's burning my lip. My tongue is burning. How nice though. How they look i don't know whether they'll actually grow but my tongue is burning so yeah that's what i got from boots anyway i think it comes to like 40 pound maybelline is currently three for two though which is good so yeah that's everything i got i'll let you know how i got on with this but i like the actual color it's like really glossy and it's got like a shimmer in so cute. morning guys happy friday we're gonna start the day off with a little walk for darts i've got her ball thrower so i'm gonna take her to there's like a, like a nice little walk there's like stepping stones and there's like a big field that you can throw the ball around for her so i'm gonna do that it is 10 o'clock i'm having the day off the gym i've just been watching some youtube and doing some work on my phone some editing and stuff come on then Dars. up oh, good girl so we're gonna go and take her for a little walk and then continue with the rest of the day hey baby Ready? Ooh. Give me the ball then. Oh, Doss, you're going to need a bath. Ready? <laughs> Missed it. Good morning guys and happy Saturday. Apologies I didn't really speak yesterday but I literally had nothing like going on. I literally took Dars for a walk like you saw and then I went to my grandma's and then I quickly popped home, went to my nan's and then literally we just had a really chilled night because I'm going out tonight and we've got like a busy weekend of renovating so we literally did nothing like all of ollie's brothers and their girlfriends were around so we were just literally we all had food watched a bit of modern family some cookie dough ice cream ben and jerry's and it was just a very chilled night so apologies i didn't really speak to you but there was nothing really going on today is why is his thing so loud i don't know there we go today is saturday it is currently 8 25 a.m we got up about quarter past seven 
and we are going to the house to start renovating. We were hoping to actually start plastering this week, which I was so excited for, but when Ollie's been there over the week, like in the evenings, he realised there was a little bit of bricklaying that needed doing. So he's gonna do, well, I'm gonna help him, but we're gonna do that today. And then hopefully he gets it all done today and then he might be able to start like prepping for plaster tomorrow, but it's just the plaster will probably happen next weekend now. But then the upstairs will pretty much be plastered bar the one room that we can't do right now. Um, and then yeah, we'll be able to get things moving a little bit more upstairs because then like everything's done, literally the radiators can go back on, we can start picking like paint, carpet, and then it will just be focusing on downstairs. So I'm very excited for that stage to happen. We are just at Wix's. Ollie's just got in because he needs to get some bills in sand, I think. But, oh my God, you know, after an Indian about being too TMI, my tummy is rolling. So I hope it's not too long. So, yeah. Happy Saturday. I've just thrown the soundtracks on his yesterday because Darcy got mud all up it and I got curry all day in it. So I thought it was a perfect renovation outfit. So that's really what we're going to be doing. So I'll show you because obviously I didn't vlog last week. So the house has changed quite a lot since you guys last got an update on youtube so i'll show you around show you what we're up to show you the progress and then tonight we've got my cousin's hen do, which i'm so excited for so i'm probably gonna have to leave the house about four we're gonna leave to get there about quarter to seven so then that gives me like two and a half hours to shower do my hair do my makeup get myself ready and then yeah we're gonna go and have a fun night out so i'm excited for that we're going to the post house in stafford so tell you all about that anyway show you what i'm wearing but yeah that's the update um happy saturday i hope you guys are all okay nothing honestly to really yeah nothing really to say i just had a really chill day yesterday just like catching up with my nan and granddad and my grandma which was nice so yeah this is me waiting for all boohoo tracksuit on um i guess i'll see you guys at the house and i'll give you a little update and everything so Okay, girlies, we are here, and this is really the update because you can't see anything else we did because obviously we've now boarded the rooms. So this is still up for debate what this room is going to be. I don't really know if you guys have got any ideas. Obviously, it's a three bed, so we're going to have one room and then one wardrobe room, and then this room I think will probably be like an office slash xbox room slash like filming space i think i might just make it like have a few little like aesthetic backdrops around the corners um that's what i'm thinking anyway it will probably temporarily be a wardrobe room because the wardrobe room will be done after these two rooms because the roof needs fixing before that room can have literally anything done to it so this will probably be like a temporarily um a temporary wardrobe room but then it will become some sort of room so it's all boarded all my screws very good had to do some again but you know we we live and we learn so this room is all boarded and then our bedroom is also all boarded so it looks so much better now so those are the updates today we're going to be mixing some building sand so i'll show you what we're doing today, but the walls are so insul insulated so Oh, and also we've had it rewired. I'm so confused when I last showed you. So we've had the upstairs rewired, hence all the wires hanging out the wall like there. This is ready for our TV to go on the wall. Um, we've got a plug socket there for like a lamp. And then we've got plug sockets either end of the bed. And then light switches. We've moved a few of them around just to make them easier. But when you look over there, it looks gross. When you look over here, it looks semi-okay. Hello guys, renovating for the day for Jody is done. It is 3.46 and I am just going home now. So I showed you a few clips of everything. We, I think I said we were hoping to be plastering this week, but we've had to put that new lintel in. So I'm gonna go home now anyway, and I've got obviously the hen do, so I'm being picked up about quarter to seven. So I've got a good few hours, like three hours, all right, yeah, three hours. I, sorry, I thought you were gonna fall. I need to have a shower, get my hair, 
done, do my makeup and everything. I think I know what I'm going to wear. So I'm just going to go home. I'm going to have a cup of tea, have 15 minutes chilled and jump, jump in the shower and get myself ready. But I thought I'd just check in with you guys. I also got Mr. Whippy at being q and It's so nice. It felt like a little bit of summer and like you could feel the heat on your face. It was a, it's been a nice day to be fair. It's a bit cloudy now. It's all microwaved. <laughs> Hello guys, right, I'm gonna curl my hair. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it, whether I'm, go whether I'm gonna like put it up in like a messy, like updo, but I know I'm gonna at least want it curled because I feel like updos require curls anyway. So I'm gonna use this Mark Hill one. This is really good. I love it. It's like a, mm, I don't really know what barrel, but it's a good, it's like a good size. So I'm just going to leave that to turn on. I've done my skincare and like my prep. I've put my primer on. I've been using and loving this. It's the Laneige Glowy. Is it Laneige? Laneige, I don't know. Glowy Makeup Serum. It's really nice. It makes your skin like ever so tacky. I've brushed my brows up. I'm going to let them sit. I feel like that's how you get them to look the best. I'm going to ignore all the grey hairs that I just found. Oh God, can you see them? They're like all in like a clump like mainly there there's so many anyway we're gonna ignore those we don't need to talk about those in every vlog <laughs> we are gonna curl our hair like i said and then i'll probably do my makeup let my curls sit it is for a time check three minutes past five so i've got an errand 45 which i feel like is fine whisk through my makeup whisk through my hair let it sit and then i'll decide what to do with it i don't know ever i'll see how the curls turn out but obviously my hair's like day five I have also put a little bit of the living proof through, just the tops, not a lot. So I don't know how it will end up looking, but I'm just going to curl it, see how it goes, and then I might end up doing some sort of thing with it, but we will see. I'm just going to let these get super hard. Also, so for instance, you can check. <laughs> Chiller vlogs are out. Well, it's just the Palm Springs. I can't talk. The Palm Springs vlog. But guys, I'm obsessed with the vlogs. I feel like. It's giving nostalgic Sophia and Chintia. It's it's really good. Like I loved their last one that they uploaded, and I'm just watching the other one while I get ready. So that is what we're up to. Can't wait. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling hungry. Um, what did we have for dinner last night? <laughs> um, I should have been eating here. What, the saffron you? risotto. Yeah, I had a diet coke at the table, and then we ordered red lobster. I know my hair is done, and I may or may not be snacking on my last Easter egg. Nothing better than just Cadbury's chocolate. This is how it turned out. I've just hair sprayed it. I think I might leave it. And maybe just like brush them out loads so it's just like bouncy waves. So, I don't know whether to try this. The Glotion by L'Oreal just under my makeup but i had to get the darker shade because i was looking on tiktok and people seem to use them all but a lot of them were saying so i think there's four shades the first two weren't really doing much in terms of color it was literally just like a primer the medium seemed to be popular but they had none in my boots and then also the i saw i can't think who it was whether it was amber turner off tewe was using the dark so i don't know whether to use well, I might just try it under my makeup. Looks like this. I'm thinking it'll be a bit like a tanning drop. Uh, maybe just not put a lot on. Oh, okay. That's not that dark. I wasn't sure whether it would just be like way too dark for my skin, but I hope it sits okay under foundation. I always see McKenna use it, but she just uses it as like a base because she doesn't really do makeup much. I actually really like that. It's kind of giving drunk elephant vibes. And that went a long way. I only put a tiny little bit on. I feel like this would bronze up your chest really nice as well. Let me just do that and then I'll give you a close up. I don't know if it would go patchy. I think I'd have to wear it without makeup to give you guys like a proper review but i mean it's definitely glowy it's not too dark i was really worried that it would be too dark but i really wanted to try it um my cheeks are really red because of the 
can you see how red my cheek is from curling I got really hot oh god I really like that it's just like a tanning drop I feel like if I had tan on I could definitely wear that as like a no makeup makeup kind of vibe that's really cute I really like that right I'm just gonna do my normal routine I'm not gonna do anything oh, the only thing that annoys me about doing my hair I haven't got any clips I've only got one clip actually I've got I've got two they're just different but it's okay we can it's so hard to know where to clip when you've done your hair We can live without the aesthetic, can't we? Two odd clips. It is what it is. Okay, right. I'm just going to do my... Oh, no, actually, I think I might go in with the It Cosmetics. I really like this. This is in medium. I'm going to put a bit on my hand. Because it is quite thick. And then I'm just going to go in with my Refi brush. And just... Buff it in. Oh, my God, I can't believe how red my cheek has gone. Actually, the longer I'm leaving that on my face, it is actually getting a bit of colour. I feel like you might be able to use it as like a really light foundation. I'll have to try it a few ways and then give you guys like a proper full. I hope this doesn't give me a kink. I should put toilet paper under it. A full review. You know when never tans on my body? Like under, like my, my neck does, but never like here. It's only over here. I feel like you have to sit like that in the sun to do that. So let's just bronze that up i did grab out my loving tan bronze shimmer i might maybe just put it on my legs because obviously that dress this is what i'm going to wear it's so high that you won't really be able to see any of my neck or chest but i might put a bit on my shoulders and then possibly a tiny little bit on my legs maybe just because i haven't got any tan on um because i don't really want to ruin what's underneath like it's a bit silly i have got a tan but you know you just maybe want to be a bit shiny have moisturized so Okay, that looks cute. I'm so excited to use my new lip liner as well. Nothing better than a new lip liner. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm going to literally do my normal makeup. So I'm going to do that. Watch YouTube. I'm currently watching Molly McFarlane. She was working with Adenola. How cool. Just about to go into the hall. So I'm going to watch that. Sophia and Chintzy's look is so good. I can't wait to see their outfit. I just saw a TikTok like, why have Sophia and Chintzy not posted their outfits? And I was like, yeah, why have they not? I'm so intrigued. So I'm going to watch this, do my makeup, and then I'll come back and show you the finished stuff result. From, do you know me? I am an Adenola shopper. I have reminders set for things coming back in stock. I know when they do new campaigns and new stuff come. Okay, makeup is all done. This is how it looks. How cute. I did match my blush. I used the new Rimmel blush that I got this one i matched it with like a bit of like a pinky eye i literally just did bronzer and then this is from lottie london i just mixed a bit of this pink and this like sparkly pink i could have put a back bit of that in the crease but i didn't see it until after so i've got like a peachy pink eye i feel like it would just lighten it up because with my with my dress being black i thought i don't want to do like black like brown makeup one i could never pull that off and makeup wise i'm just not talented like that and two i feel like i just look a bit too like dark and sultry so i thought i'll do brighter makeup and then yeah it's only time check 5 53 so i've got almost an hour i can't believe i've managed to do that so literally all i need to do is put my dress on decide what i'm going to do with my hair i'm going to leave it for another like 10 minutes or so then give it a brush and then decide put my outfit on and then finishing touches so i'm just going to sit watch a bit more of molly's vlog and then i will finish this off with you but i just wanted to show you the makeup i'm literally obsessed so nice i haven't done full makeup like this since literally ellie's wedding so it's, it's really nice to actually sit down and just use some new products and you know play with makeup it's always fun guys i failed on the outfit i just honestly hand on heart just didn't feel confident enough to wear it and that is literally my number one rule like i'd rather be confident in my outfit so i put it on i think maybe with like a bit more styling and like maybe if i had some like black boots it might look nice but there was just so much leg that i would have had to have on show i'm just adding a bit of lotion to my belly i'll show you my outfit in a minute um yeah maybe think with some like black boots or like black tights and i don't know i'd have to style it a bit more and i just thought you know what it's really not that deep my mom's wearing jeans 
and my grandma I'm just watching her out the window she's just getting out of the car she's also got jeans on and I was like oh, I'm just not I'm just, I was like too dressy for them so I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed but I've gone for something else I've put this blazer on um okay so this is the eighth. I haven't put my heels on I'm gonna smell like Carolina Herrera good girl this is such a gorgeous like night eight scent drench myself in that put my engagement ring on <coughs> i shut the window so it wasn't so dark the only thing now is that this bag has gold hardware and the blazer has like silver on but we're just gonna have to ignore that so i've got this this is it i think you might be a bit high one sec okay so this is Zara, right? It's literally just like a little crop. And then I've, my grandma just came. This is the blazer. This is from Boohoo. I wore this to the Clomana event in Christmas time. <sighs> Such an annoying <laughs> trait of Roxy's. So it's got all these like diamonds on. So I feel like it's giving like fun and dresses still. And then I've literally put it on with these Boohoo black jeans. And then I'm just going to throw on my Perspex little heels. I don't have black heels anymore, I don't think. How did you do? I did it under here. I think it is. No. I don't know where they are. Um, yeah, I just don't know where they are. So, oh, I need to put my earrings in. So this is the outfit I've gone for anyway. That white fox dress is gorgeous. It just, I need to feel confident in what I'm wearing else. I'm literally going to hate myself and just feel like annoying all night. So this is what we're going to go for much more comfortable also warmer it's not the warmest still in england um i might just put a bit of my brush over my hands just to give them a bit of color with the product <laughs> that's better okay i'll probably oh i could take this off and have it as like a clutch maybe i'll just put, put this under my shoulder and then it won't show the gold off as much just like that um so this is the outfit anyway. I probably won't be able to get too much content, but I'll bring you guys along as much as I can. I'll show you what like goes on. All I know is there's food and entertainment with a wink face. So I know Kate's friends are wild. So I'm just gonna put two and two together and imagine that I'm gonna be sat in a room with my grandma and probably a male stripper. So piece to that. I need to find my necklace as well. So I'll have a quick hunt around for that. Um, and yeah, this is the outfit anyway. I feel much better in this. I feel like it's much more um, appropriate. So I'm happy with it anyway. So yeah, this is the outfit. Makeup, I'm going to leave my hair down because I thought that's cute. This is the blazer, like full length. It just has, oh, it doesn't have it on the back actually. It's just got these like little diamond like daisies on the front and on the sleeve. So it's quite cute. It sort of jazzes the outfit up a bit. So yeah, this is the look. Happy Hendy, Kate can't wait to see you i haven't seen her for ages i'm so excited she's so it's actually my cousin it's like my cousin's fiance but honestly she's my favorite cousin and she's not even officially my cousin yet <laughs> it really does be like that so i'm just gonna add in my bag lip liner um a lip balm i put a little bit of this on my lips the blush so i whack that in um a comb 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 where's my comb honestly sometimes i don't know where my comb has gone okay brilliant we won't take a comb with us then will we so yeah anyway let's go and have a fun night girly pops and i'll show you what i can tomato and mozzarella paninis please and then can I get a ham and cheese toasty as well okay. um, uh, what sorry Bonnie are you properly sorry I'll just try that Wiltshire please I'll just try that an ice two ice chai lattes please hello girls I'm just popping on to actually end this vlog 
here. It's currently Monday afternoon and sorry I didn't really speak too much yesterday. I don't think I did at all. I was planning on talking to you last night when I got home but I just was so wiped out. I came in my period on Saturday night which was like three days early and it just honestly caught me off guard. I don't know how but I did work all day at the house. I felt really bad for all because I was just not in a bad mood but you know when you just I just had no energy like I, I but I powered through and you know we got a lot of progress done so I will show you in the next vlog what we have been up to but I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog I'm honestly I've been having heartburn again and I feel rough I just feel a bit wiped out so I'm just gonna have literally a day of chilling and editing the vlog catching up and then hopefully you guys will see this tonight that's my plan I'm about halfway through editing so I've got a couple hours left but you guys should see that tonight so thank you so 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 much for watching i think it's going to be a long vlog so hope you guys don't mind it's nice to get back into the long weekly vlogs again but i feel like we had a nice week i'm looking forward to this week i feel like the weather's going to start being a little bit better which will be nice but yeah i'm just going to chill today so not much to show you guys so i'm going to end this vlog here thank you as always for watching anything that i've shown you I'll try and link, leave some links below of like makeup and stuff that I've shown you in the haul um, and anything that I've been using loving I will leave links below but if you don't see the link then just comment it and I will share the link with you or share where I got it from or whatever you guys need but I love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe if you don't already white fox code I'm still pending I'm still waiting on it so as soon as I get it I'll show it for you guys because they've got so much good stuff at the moment but also stay tuned for the White Fox haul that will be coming on the channel at some point this week. I am so excited for you guys to see it. It's an unreal haul and it's such a pinch me moment to be working with a brand like that so stay tuned for that but I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!